What's up YouTube? It's Josh Hewitt. Time to do it with Hewitt. This video might sound a little ranty. Something on my mind I wanted to talk about today. Ever since this week at the gym, I saw one of the other trainers basically telling off a client for eating a piece of fruit. I think they had a banana or something. And uh, the trainer was basically telling them, that, you know, this is bad. They're off their diet because fructose I mean, is going to make them gain fat. Whereas I've never heard any discussion on caloric intake or portion control or anything like that uh, with regards to nutrition, clients trying to lose weight. <clears throat> and they also had a new client start with me a couple of weeks ago, almost in tears because she was so confused about nutrition. A previous trainer had told her that the key to losing body fat was not to eat any carbs or maybe not to eat any food after six o'clock. Um, and to, you, know, you had to eat like six to eight times a day. Uh, basically, that was the key. And it was news to her when I started talking about, you know, portion control, energy in, energy out, you know, caloric deficit, uh, and then, you know, tracking how much protein, fats, and carbs you get in your macros. That seemed like a completely foreign concept to her. And that's actually what prompted me to make my video, uh, The Five Priorities of Fat Loss Nutrition. I'll link that down below. But basically, you know what, and I'll admit right up the front here, I am guilty of this myself. I was a pure bro scientist around this stuff. I was, you know, I believe that the key was, you know, to, to cut out your carbs and you had to eat, you know, multiple times. If you missed a meal at, you know, two and a half hour mark, your metabolism was going to slow down and, and, and all of that because that's what my mentor back in the day told me. But there's a lot of research available to us as trainers out there right now. We, we can read about this. And you know, it's our responsibility as trainers to continually be educating ourselves, you know, to, especially around nutrition. When it comes to fat loss, I think most of us recognize now that nutrition is the priority when it comes to fat loss. Even though there are a lot of people that are trying to push the idea that some sort of magic exercise program will blast fat from your body and you can eat whatever you want as long as you do these secret exercises. Definitely exercise is important and there are certain exercises, forms of exercise that are great for burning body fat. But you know, you've heard that expression, you can't out train uh, a, a crappy diet. And the main consideration for nutrition when it comes to losing body fat is caloric deficit, energy balance, you know, portion control, energy in versus energy out, and then your macronutrients, your protein, fats, and carbs. Yes, the quality of your food does matter. You got to get your micronutrients. You have to have enough fiber. Uh, definitely, when you eat, timing of your meals may make a difference, but those certainly are not the priorities. We got to simplify this shit for our clients. We can't make it so complicated. Like there are magic foods that if you eat that food, you're going to suddenly blow up with body fat. If you eat after 6.04 p.m., suddenly all of the food that you take in after that time turns into body fat. <clears throat> those carbs right after that time are going to go straight to your fat cells. But if you cut it off, you know, 602, you're good. You're good. That's, that's good. You know, after that certain time, boom, that's body fat time. You know, it doesn't work that way. And even if that is a factor, even if that is something to consider, it is not the big picture. We got to get our clients educated on the main things. We got to get away from the pseudoscience where there's magical foods that are going to somehow make you burn fat or gain fat. And like if you do this type of exercise or eat that kind of food, it's going to screw up your, your hormones to a huge extent, which is, you know, definitely a factor, but it's not the main factor. And I think unless your client is very advanced and has shit down as far as, you know, you know, tracking their, their calories or at least having an idea where their caloric intake or their portions are at, and it's pretty good at, you know, the overall picture of where protein, fats, and carbs are and, you know, is eating at smart times. Then you can start getting into these little nuances and tweaking them. But, like, getting into that shit right off the bat with, with new clients that are, like, totally in the dark around this stuff, and I don't think it's fair to them. Quality of food matters. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm big on, like, avoiding processed food to a, to a big point. But that, that shouldn't be the, the main thing to focus on, in my opinion, if... Fat loss is the goal. That's something you definitely keep in the picture, but don't lead people to believe that if they don't eat that and they do eat that, that's going to be the secret to losing fat because then when they're eating clean and they're still not dropping body fat and they don't know what the hell is wrong, they get confused. It throws them off. So, you know, get them into, you know, moderating their portions first. Get them looking at that big picture and then start refining, refining once they get one thing down at a time. So can we as trainers agree that we have to give our clients the fundamentals first? Uh, and hey, right away, I'll agree right off the bat that I'm a 
you know, a guilty party here as well. I mean, I've, I've given clients all sorts of vague, obscure advice around nutrition. Uh, not necessarily bad advice, but certainly not the essentials, the fundamentals. Um, but, you know, you live, you learn. And that's why we have to keep an open mind. It's funny that trainers, a lot of the trainers I'm talking to now are like, oh, now you're a macros guy, or now you're a flexible diet, or oh, you're that. Like, like it's some sort of uh, cult. Whereas I'm looking at the type of advice I see and given you know, backed by almost no research at all. Flexible dieting, or at least having some vague idea. You don't have to journal every single thing. Although, keeping a journal for any goal in your life, whether it's your nutrition, your training, your business goals, whatever, when you track it and write it down and you actually journal it, your success rates are far exceed those who, who don't have any idea or don't track. You know, you create that sense of awareness. You're able to make measurable small changes to get to where you want to be. So, I mean, that is the most scientific or evidence-based approach to getting results as far as fat loss or body composition. But you don't have to use a calorie counter. Um, you don't have to write every single thing down. <clears throat> but you do have to be aware of how much you're eating now and make some small changes, either increasing or decreasing. I mean, portions matter and how much you eat matters. And then you start to look at how much of what I eat is consists of protein, fats, and carbs. And you can get some guidance around that. And then you start looking at the quality of your food and that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, I know this is a little ranty, but it's just, you know, I'm having these discussions with fitness professionals who should have an open mind around this shit. And it just seems like the type of advice is just sort of like, oh, I heard this on, you know, The Biggest Loser or, you know, some gurus, gurus said this. And I've heard like big name gurus all about, it's all about, your hormones are out of whack when you store body fat in one area, and that means you have a deficit of my supplements. Buy more of my supplements to kick, take care of that, like spot reduce you by balancing hormones with, you know, buy my shit. Supplements play a role too, but they're right down there, you know, at the bottom of uh, the chart. I'm a supplement junkie, so hey, I love them. But I know that that's, you know, once everything else is in place, then, you know, they play a strong role. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sort of talking, I guess, to other fitness professionals. I know a lot of people are already on board with this sort of perspective, but maybe there are some people out there listening to this that they might think, oh, shit, maybe there is something to that. You know, maybe I should look at a bigger picture. Uh, I got a shitload to learn, too. I, I don't know everything. That's for damn sure. But at least I'm trying to have an open mind. I'd rather be a learn-it-all than a know-it-all. Uh, and I'm encouraging us all as fitness pros to do the same. I'd love to hear your comments and feedback on this. Post some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Am I full of shit or am I on the right track? Is this something that are a lot of you out there uh, who maybe you're not fitness professionals, but you've, you've gotten advice from trainers. Is this something that is confusing to you as well? Do you hear like all sorts of different feedback around nutrition um, and, you know, versus exercise versus what to eat, when to eat, etc.? cetera? Um, and it, would this be something that you'd like to see explained more clearly and more simply um or am i off, am i way off track you know tell me anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it give it a like remember to subscribe and until next time stay strong